Hello, my name is Doug Laser, and uh, I wanted to record this video to introduce you to a new version of the software that I created for um, for small churches and, and other other uh, religious uh, religious organizations. Um, I uh, uh, previously had created a the version of the software for recording donations, and uh, that's been been in use for many years. Uh, with for for churches throughout throughout the U.S., Canada, and uh, and other places with uh, around the world, but I had been asked a couple of years ago to add to it uh, functionality to also record expenses. Uh, so I have a new version that can uh, has both donations and expenses, and I want to in, wanted to introduce you to that uh, to that other version today. If you have not seen a demo of the donation software, then please follow the link in the description to see that demo first, and then uh, watching this will make a lot more sense. Okay, so um, as I mentioned, uh, this is actually a combination of both uh, the, the software for entering and recording donations, printing the receipts, and the monthly reports. So all of that is in here, but I've added a couple extra tabs for recording the expenses. Uh, now just to be very honest and blunt, this is a pretty simplistic uh, a way of, of, of recording uh, your expenses. It's more like a, a check register kind of a methodology. Uh, but for, for some of the small churches, this is working perfectly fine. So I just wanted to inter introduce that to you and show you what it looks like. So um, on the expenses tab then we have uh, initially you would fill in your opening balance. So whatever whatever you have in the, in the checking account, cash, that kind of a thing, uh, total that up and that would be your opening balance. And then we have uh, a place down here where we start entering our expenses and our deposits. And um, as we're doing that, uh, we'll see that uh, it'll sum up automatically all of the deposits, all of the payments, and give us a current balance. The entry is actually a pretty simplistic. So let me um, go ahead and show you what that lo would look like. So, <clears throat> uh, so in uh, uh, in this sample uh, church, we have some entries that have already been made uh, throughout uh, January through part of part of uh, uh, June, and now we're just going to continue doing some entries. So, our last deposit was our donation that we received on uh, June twelfth, and now we're going to do some expenses. And uh, let me just show you how simply this works. So um, our check number would be check 501. And the date for that is June 15th. And this is actually for our pastoral salary, our pastor's salary. So we just type in the category. And there is an optional subcategory that you can use. Um, I think most people are just using a single category, but you do have the option of two different categories. And then you would enter, um, in this case it's a payment because it's, it's uh, money going out. So we would enter the, uh, the amount of the check. And all of these items over here are filling in automatically and doing uh, using cell formulas to calculate the values that are necessary in these other ones. So we're just really filling in A through F. So uh, it's just that simple to enter a check. Uh, so we'll come down here and do an, another one. So here's our next check number 502. And it'll be actually the same day. And this will be for telephone expense. So we enter that category. And then again, this is a, an expense, so it's money going out. This will be a payment, so we enter that amount. And then everything else calculates automatically. And if you notice, uh, every time I come down here and start the entry, it's extending this table of information, the colors, the uh, the fonts, uh, the formatting, as well as these formulas. They extend automatically because it's using a, an Excel table. So let's go ahead and just uh, kind of finish that off a little bit. We'll do the um, do some of the other expenses. I'm just going to be lazy and just kind of paste those in. Okay, 
So that does all of our expenses for the month. And then on the 19th, we do another collection. So this will be a deposit. And uh, that'll be 619. And um, this would be the general category. And it, again, if you have multiple categories in your donations, general, missions, benevolence, building fund, etc., you would enter that category. And the only uh, difference here is this is a deposit. So I put the, uh, the amount collected, 1779, in there and let it finish doing the calculations. All right, we'll do just, just do a couple more. You can, again, you can see just how simple this is. So um, we also have some um, expenses for our supplies. So that'll be another check. Um, five zero, well, let's just say, yeah, five zero seven. And that is on the 22nd, actually it's, yeah, 21st, sorry. And this is for supplies. Again, a payment, 47.31. And then um, one more donation on the last, the last month, uh, last week of the month. So again, this would be a deposit. On the 26th. Okay, so uh, as you can see, it's pretty simple to, to do the uh, the entry here. As we're doing it, uh, it's totaling up the deposits, expenses, showing us our current balance as we're making the entry. And um, so this is kind of interesting, but we also have another tab here that really, really helps us out, and it's the expense report. Okay, <clears throat> so some of the information, opening balance total, deposits, payments, and then the current balance are just simply um, things that are coming over from the other tab. But then we're using the Excel pivot table to build a, a report. Um, so we have in our custom menu option number 21 that will refresh the expense report. So what it does is just simply read the new information we've added and complete the report. And then I just wanted to show you real quickly over here that on the parameters tab, one of the options we have here is uh, when you're doing your expenses, do you want to use the subcategories as well as a category? So I'm going to, um, this was set to yes, I'm going to, I'm going to turn it to no, and then we'll come back here. And I just want to show you the difference. So when we uh, use the menu to refresh the report, okay. So this, this looks a little bit cleaner because um, I had not filled in the subcategories. So I just want to display the report using category only. And so what you'll see is we have uh, in the report, we have our income and we have our expenses. Um, if we had filled in missions, building fund, benevolence, that kind of thing, that would have been, sh would show up here uh, under our income as the, as the different categories. We also now have our expenses and these are each of the categories we entered for the expenses. Um, the interesting thing is we're doing the expenses as a negative number. And we're doing that just simply so that you can then take income minus all of the expense. So we can see month by month, and uh, did we bring in more money than went out? And that we can see the same thing across uh, the, you know, the, the year to date numbers over here in the grand total. Uh, so, uh, so this, this report uh, is refreshed, like I say, as soon as you use this menu item 21. And if you want to print it, item 22 will, re will print the expense report. Okay, so I just wanted to introduce uh, you to this. Um, I, I think it's uh, something that for the, uh, the, the smaller churches who um, can't afford things like QuickBooks or some other tools like that, 
or maybe they just find it too complex. If your needs are really simple, take a look at this. I think it'll, it'll help you out. Now before we leave, I just want to show you some other examples of this. So let me go ahead and just uh, shut this one down. I have another version of this that I just wanted to show you real quickly. And uh, on this version, uh, what we see is that um, I've gone ahead and I've gone ahead and uh, used both category and subcategory. So you can just get a, a feel for what that looks like. So that was just on the report as we're filling it in. Sorry, on the report, we're just filling in both category and subcategory. So the category would be the broad, uh, the broad category of donations. The subcategory would be your general missions and that kind of thing. Same thing, building maintenance uh, as the category. The subcategory would be your telephone, gas, rent, electricity, etc. So just kind of showing the idea of what that would look like. And then the report then would be uh, would have these different levels of the of the report. So building maintenance, and then underneath of that, all of those categories that are part of building maintenance. So just uh, having those two different levels and showing you what that report would look like. And then the last thing, um, just wanted to show you uh, some of the folks I've worked with uh, using this donations and expense um, uh, version. We're asking about, well, what do you do? If, how do we do our, our budgets? We want to want to show our budget compared to our our expenses. So I just wanted to show you how easily we can do that. Just a matter of inserting some rows um, above the uh, above the Excel pivot table and creating uh, a simple a simple report, right? So these are our expense categories. Here we entered our budget amounts, and then using some simple cell formulas to examine and retrieve the uh, the total amounts here either by individual category or by the the summarized uh, level your choice how you want to do that but uh, just using a simple excel formula to do that uh, and this, so we can uh, this is our our annual budget how much we've spent year to date and so therefore that's the re remaining amount to be spent so we do that just by, like I say, inserting some additional rows and building a budget versus what's been spent kind of report. But um, I thought it was a pretty neat idea to to include um, to include a, a budget a budget report as part of this as part of this expense report. All right, um, I'm inc I've included uh, in the uh, in the de in the in the the um, comment. Or sorry, in the in the uh, the description of, of this video, I've included my email address. So, if you're interested in getting the a copy of this, go ahead and just send me an email and request it. Um, again, because I have one version for donations only and another one that's both donations and expenses, please make sure you identify that you want um, the version with expenses uh, when you contact me. All right, thank you, and I'll see you uh, in a future video.